Lantau, the largest of Hong Kong's islands and home to the Tian Tan Buddha, Disneyland, and this. O Park One, a recovery center for organic resources like food waste. Within these composting tunnels, organic matter degrades for about three weeks and is maintained at an operating temperature of 55 degrees Celsius. The resulting compost is used in landscaping and agriculture. Compost is a critical ingredient for healthy and resilient plant life by adding nutrients into the soil like potassium and nitrogen. Another key to the puzzle is the quality of the seed itself. Now, one food tech company has launched what's been called the Tinder for Crops, which they say can optimize seeds and by extension, plant-based foods. It's 6 a.m. outside Tel Aviv in Israel on a summer's day and food tech entrepreneur Gil Shalev is visiting a field filled with crops like sesame, mung beans, and cow peas. You know, what I like to be in the morning in the field, it's giving you the sense of, you know, something's quiet, something is just starting, the day is just beginning, and the flowers, the plants are starting to smile to you. With a PhD in plant genetics, Shalev has long been fascinated by the potential of vegetation, a potential that he's hoping to tap through technology at his company, Equina. You wake up and see the fields, the plants that you work for more than five years. There is the excitement of waiting and see what will happen. Because you cannot project everything in advance. Something that is a combination between what you will hope will happen and what will nature will provide you at the end of the day. At Equinome, the work starts in the lab, where scientists are using artificial intelligence to develop high yield, nutritious, and non-GMO ingredients by simulating and analyzing millions of breeding combinations. We believe the best way to produce and to create new ingredients is going to the source, to the seeds, and making sure that we are using the right seeds to create the right ingredient. For social entrepreneur Lea Lizarondo, a visit to the farmer's market is a reminder of the importance of nutrition in the global challenge of securing food. It's not enough that we provide calories. We also must provide food that is rich in vitamins, that has what we need. But whatever food we produce, if we produce it with as much density in nutrition as possible, then we're doubly efficient in tackling this challenge. It's clear the food system is changing, there is kind of a revolution and what we will eat in the future will be plants and it's going to be protein that coming from plants. Basically how we can improve the plant system to create better proteins to support the food system of the future. And that's exactly what we are doing over here. Shalev says that Equinom's Seed Gene Bank houses more than 250,000 seed varieties. They're the building blocks for his vision to elevate the nutritional profile of plant-based ingredients. At the company's R&D center, research scientist Nicholas Rutley is running tests with an electronic nose, a device that can analyze seeds for hundreds of volatile compounds. The human panel can only do five samples, six samples in a day. In a 24-hour cycle, I can do 180 samples in the electronic nose. In that way, I can get through thousands of samples per week. And we can really uh, find the variety which we think has the lowest off flavors. And then we can do that selection and we can send those varieties for the human panel. So then there's this feed forward and feedback. Equinom says it's working with major food brands like PepsiCo to optimize ingredients like legumes and pulses and using AI-driven tech to develop better plant-based proteins. And they're not the only ones in this burgeoning field. With its headquarters in Singapore, How Foods is making vegetable eggs with ingredient informatics, while Chilean food tech firm The Knot Company uses its AI platform called Giuseppe to find the best plant-based replacements for animal proteins. It's all in the hope of feeding Earth's projected 10 billion people by 2050 in a smarter way. We have to start thinking how we are improving our food system, meaning that we are taking those plants, soy, mung bean, cowpea, chickpea, and others, and converting the quality, the protein level, to start feeding humans rather than cows and pigs. Seems obvious, but it's never happened before.